so we still talk about American culture right this is about the self-sufficiency closely closely related to the American emphasis on the individual control of our destiny is the value of being self-sufficient to succeed without depending on others so supreme self-determination self-reliance and self-confidence the concept of being self-sufficient however doesn't translate into all languages and the trait is not valued in many other cultures people from hispanic and asian culture who have strong attachment for to families and communities and besides a skillful use of the bonds between families and friends when making decision and make and getting things done interdependency is a more helpful cultural adaption in many cultures around the world the u.s health care i mean the system presents all of us with a unique set of challenges. but those who are from different culture will really struggle to demonstrate the kind of self-sufficiency we respect in america the very nature of working together to find solution means everyone, providers, staff, patients, and their extended families, relinquish self-sufficiency to some degrees. <coughs> and this is about the stages. In American culture, we value the idea of equality. The quotation, all men are, cre are created equal, is arguably with the best known praise in any of American political documents. Uh, Thomas Jefferson was for, first used the press in the Declaration of Independence as a rebuttal to the going political theory of the day, the divine right of king. So perhaps in reality, some of us are clearly more equal than others, yet egalitarian egalitarianism is a divining aspect of american culture and one in which we differ from other con other, other culture that actually embrace a set social hierarchy americans insistence on collapse a social hierarchy leads to our preference for informality informality in social interaction demonstrated is a well-known tendency to use first name when we address others even with strangers this degree of informality can make people from some other culture uncomfortable especially when there is a perceived status difference between people as in patient family doctor interaction it is best to rely on formal terms of address using mr or miss or mrs something like that instead of the first name this will likely make people in many cultures more comfortable language language use as a cultural dimension deserve the whole separate article but the basic can be touched on here american allow context communicators so the word we speak are expected to deliver everything that is important during verbal interaction we pay far less attention to factors such as body language and the context of what is being said in high context cultures gestures body language eye contact pitch intonation word stress and the use of silence are as important as the actual word being spoken in conversation high context culture tend to communicate in a less direct fashion direct fashion you know americans being low context are comfortable with very direct speech and sometimes seems ab abrupt to people from high context culture we miss the nuance of conversation so americans appreciate communication that gets straight to the point and tend to interrupt when in conversation isn't moving along people from many other cultures do not feel they have had a chance to adequately explain their concern until they have told the whole story this is important to keep in mind when communicating with people 
from different cultures, especially those who are relatively new to the U.S. You know, interaction with Americans who are highly verbal and direct can be challenging for someone who is accustomed to telling a story as a way of answering a question. So, Americans aren't the only direct or low contact communicator in the world, but we certainly rank among them. So, this is about the individualism. Cross culture research shows U.S. American score higher on the on this cultural value than any other culture in the world. All the values we have addressed up to this point are closely related to this aspect of American culture. Individualism is the belief that each individual interest should take precedence over those of the social group. Collect Activist culture, by comparison, assign value based on the role of people, people placed within a group. If people were stars in the sky, being one of the seven brightest stars forming the Big Dipper would be more important to someone from a collectivist culture than being the single brightest star. In American culture, where the individual is a is paramount everyone wants to be the north star so individualism versus collectivism is an important dimension of culture because it affects the way people like live together for example in nuclear families or extended families and it has many implications for values and behavior and child rearing uh, as a whole is hand handled differently in collectivist cultures. The child in a collectivist culture is seldom alone, either during the day or night. Children are reared by, by, by an extended kin group that may or may not include family like ties with persons who are not biological relatives and what is it So the Im the important health decisions are not made solely by by an individual, just like parents or otherwise. So in many collectivist culture, the term family doctor point to a medical relationship that is indeed more like family. Several generations to visit the same physician, establish report, report, and hold certain expectation for interacting with their doctor. It's just like you know, uh, compare this to the searching for a doctor on the internet in the United States. Or having to choose from an approved list of position is in a managed care network just like feeling how the medical system work just like it. the the incident about the, the relate to the cultural and language barrier something like that so this can create confusion and frustration for western doctor but the collective vision is a deeply rooted value the classic American individualists who stay aware of how collectivist, collectivist culture operate will be much more skillful in cross-cultural interaction. Being group-oriented isn't better or worse than being more individualistic. Both ways of approaching life have 
advantages as fit all the dimension of cultures awareness of difference without judgment is a path leading to happier healthier patient and successful provider yeah that's just the brief description about american so you can see all the uh, description in the module okay bye bye